Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to American Stages season celebration reimagined. My name is Jason Alford. I will be your fundraising host for this evening. I will tell you that we acknowledge the fact that we're starting a little bit late. Some technical difficulties led to that. But for those of you who stuck around with us, thank you so much. And for those of you who didn't stick around with us, you're about to miss one heck of a show. But you didn't hear me say that. But I will tell you, we got a great show for you. We're not only going to give you some amazing entertainment, courtesy of our friends at American Stage, but we're also going to make sure that you understand the real mission of what this organization does. We're going to ask you to help American Stage to make sure they continue to thrive in this community. Right on the screen right here, you'll see how to donate. And throughout the program, we'll give you different opportunities to donate. But the easiest way to do it is text the words reimagine for all. That's the number four, reimagine for all. You text that to 44321 and you can make a donation. You can also go to AmericanStage.org and while you're on the site, scroll down to the bottom and you will see exactly where you can donate and make a contribution to the mission and to the cause of American Stage. Now, we've got screens here in front of us that show us who has donated already to this point. So to Maurice Kurtz, thank you for your donation. To Stephen Walker, one of our board members, thank you for your donation already throughout the program. Matt Canigliero made a donation earlier. So as we see these names up on the screen, we encourage you to do it so that we can acknowledge you and thank you for making those donations and those contributions. Now, we miss being at the theater. We all do. We miss seeing you all. We miss seeing those shows in person at American Stage. And for that reason, one of the reasons, we're taking you to American Stage tonight. We're taking you to the main stage and we're gonna check in with some of our VIPs, if you will, some of our awesome staff members who are there. So we're gonna take you to American Stage's main stage right now and check in with Kristen Clipper, Jared Fox, and Tiffany Ford. Show us how things are going out there. How's it going, guys? <laughs> Hey, thank you so much, Jason. That's right, we are live at American Stage Theater, physically in the building. Can you believe it? We are so excited to be here. And we're here for a reason. We're here to remind you what it's like to be in the theater, what it's like for to experience live performances. So we're so happy that you're here. And I'm just gonna swivel this camera right over, over to Tiffany Ford. Hey, we're here! We are here on the set of The People Downstairs safely filming fairy tales reimagined for families and schools throughout our community. Hi everyone, it's going to be a fabulous night. Thank you so much for joining us. And now we're gonna hear a message from some of our favorite artist friends who are going to be reimagining with us. Reimagine connection. Reimagine diversity. Reimagine connection. Reimagining community. Reimagine connection. Reimagine hope. Reimagine diversity and inclusion. Reimagining hope. I'm reimagining equity. Reimagine love. Reimagine hope. Reimagining equity and diversity. Reimagining joy. Reimagine community. Reimagine connection. Reimagine together. All right, reimagine together. And we couldn't be together in person. So we've come to you virtually. And Stephanie Gillard, we're at least social distance we apart. Are. We right? are. But I will tell you, Stephanie Gillard is joining me now, the CEO and the producing artistic director for American Stage. You certainly have had to reimagine how things are done there, haven't you? It's been an interesting time for all of us. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And Jason, um, politely understated, we are running late tonight. Thank you so much for sticking around. We do have a story to tell you tonight because American Stage, um, many of you know, has been in our community for 43 years. And there's so much to consider um, in terms of what does it mean to be a nonprofit arts organization? What does it mean to be doing regional theater right now? I don't know if you heard, but just today, Broadway announced that they will not be returning until the summer of 2021. Um, there's so much going on right now that's drawing our attention away from what the theater really does provide for us, which is unity and bringing us together. And so tonight, we're both celebrating what it means to come together still in a reimagined way. And we're asking for your support to think about the power of storytelling and the power of community. And one of the things that I always like to think about, the experience that powerful stories give us, the opportunity that, that, that powerful stories give us, are the chance to sit and explore and lean into a story without having to have a particular opinion, without having to defend one side or another, without having to argue a point. It's really an opportunity to just take in and open your heart and open your mind 
to the experience of our humanity and, and maybe feel a little bit along the way and maybe have some new ideas along the way and at its best, leave that story feeling a little more connected to one another, whether that be the people you are watching the story with or even better, all of us collectively in a community. And I want to point out too that now more than ever, we know that community means so much more than geography. It's not just about how our proximity to one another. Community really is about relationships. It's about the diversity of perspectives coming together in respect to enrich our lives and to learn and to grow together. And that's what American Stage's reimagined season is all about. We're reimagining how to make sure that we keep our community together through the power of live stories. And I want to show you a little bit about what, how we're going to do that this season. I am George Baxter, President Emeritus of the Community Foundation of Tampa Bay. And joining me is my wife, Debbie. American Stage is helping us reimagine our lives by bringing their first-class productions to us via the internet. We may be isolated temporarily, but because of American Stage, our lives can be expanded and enriched by the magical world of this theater. We imagine a better tomorrow through your financial investment in American Stage. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, I'm Sarah Oliva, and I've appeared in Between Riverside and Crazy and will be in The People Downstairs at American Stage. This season, I am reimagining hope. Without it, we can do very little, but with it, Anything is possible. So please consider giving to American Stage and help us continue telling these powerful stories. I'm Brian Balcom and I directed Viet Gone last season at American Stage. Uh, this season, I'm reimagining community 
because it's become increasingly important to educate each other, to depend on each other, and to rally each other in these unprecedented times. Thank you for supporting your friends, your neighbors, and for supporting American Stage. Thank you so much for those. Those messages are touched me so much because these are people who genuinely care not just about specifically about American Stage, although they do. They're our friends and our supporters, but really about people and about how we can stay together and stay connected during um, this challenging time. And we know that live theater is unlike anything else, any other experience. You got a little bit of a taste from our reimagined season video of how we're going to keep bringing you connecting stories and doing it in a meaningful way, virtually for a while, and then eventually back together on our stage. And tonight, we want to continue to tell you some of how we're going to do that. So we've got some great surprises for you. We've got some great um, performances coming up. And I just want to remind you throughout the night that we can't do this without your support. And tonight really is about raising the funds that we need to innovate to inspire, to ensure inclusion, and to ensure the sustainability of American Stage all season long. Now, I will tell you that those four key words that Stephanie just mentioned there, you're going to hear us weave them into the rest of the program because we believe that those are four of the keys, four of the pillars that will compel you, that will make you understand and tickle you just enough to say, you know what, I believe strongly in that, that I want to donate because of the innovation, because of the inspiration, because of the inclusion, or because of the sustainability. So what we've done is we've set a goal for this program and for the life of this program is to raise $100,000. I will tell you that we've already been slingshotted forward on that by some donations that have already come in. Again, I mentioned earlier that we have this screen in front of us so we can acknowledge Stephen Walker as we did before, Maurice Kurtz, Anastasia Hoytis, thank you. She gave $2,500, so thank you yeah. for that, right? Barbara Rusignolio, other donations are coming in right now. Edward Carroll has donated. Jill Rusignolio, thank you so much for making that donation. Now, for those of you who aren't sure exactly how to donate, it's very simple. It's right down here on our screen. You text to 44321, reimagine for all, or you go to AmericanStage.org. Now, if you go to AmericanStage.org, you'll be able to scroll down to the bottom of the page. While you're at the bottom of the page, you'll be able to pick a team to donate towards? Will it be innovation, to inspiration, to inclusion, or sustainability? Whichever one you want to choose, we will tell you that we've got a, a, a captain to champion the cause, That's right. right? That's right. To make sure that you know that you are voting not for them, but for the pillar that they stand for. And we're going to check in with each one of these captains to give you the campaign pitch, to let you know why their part of the campaign is most important. And we're going to start with first, with Team Innovation. And our captain for that team is Patrick Jackson. Patrick, go ahead and make your pitch, buddy. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Hello, uh, Jason and Steph. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. My name is Patrick A. Jackson. I'm the Adult Education uh, Associate at American so Stage. And as the captain of Team Innovation, mm -hmm. I want to yeah, encourage to, to support American Stage's innovation that will fund the essential technologies and resources needed to realize this season through innovative productions created for the virtual stage, as well as new learning opportunities for students of all ages from youth to adult and resources to safely bring our artists and audiences together again at the theater. So thank you in advance for supporting American Stage's reimagined season as we keep on innovating together. Woo! Hi. <laughs> Thanks, Steph and Jason and Patrick. Uh, this is Hal Friedman, and I am a trustee with American Stage. And I'm an American Stage supporter and arts lover, Willie Radowski. We are passionate about supporting the American Stage artists, creative teams, educating artists, and the artistic leaders who are all helping us to reimagine. And we're inspired to contribute to the work to those who are creating world-class professional theater for our local community and well beyond. So thank you for supporting American Stage as we reimagine inspiration together. Remember team inspiration. Good evening, everyone. I am Sadie Lockhart the Community Engagement Associate at American Stage, and I am so passionate about digital inclusion and access for students, for artists, and for audiences so that we can reimagine together all season for all people all over the world. 
Thank you for your contribution tonight to help ensure that everyone has access to professional live theater and quality arts education. Good evening, everyone. I'm Susan Alexander, and I've been a part of the American Stage family as a performer and a supporter for more than 29 years. And I'm American Stage General Manager Tom Block, and I have worked as part of the American Stage team for 38 years. We are passionate about the role of American Stage in our community and invite you to contribute tonight to ensure that American Stage continues its legacy of arts excellence in Tampa Bay. As captains of teen sustainability, we believe the power of world-class professional theater should be available to everyone now and for generations to come. Yes. All right, folks, there you heard it. You heard it from our captains. And I will tell you that Tom and Susan seem to take great pride in saying as captains of team sustainability, <laughs> right? So to all of our team captains, I want everyone out there who's watching and can hear me right now, all those captains are doing are representing what that mission is the innovation, the inspiration, the inclusion, and the sustainability. If you want to donate to any one of those particular parts of the program, you go to AmericanStage.org, scroll to the bottom, pick which team you want to donate to. If you don't necessarily want to donate to a specific program, a specific pillar, just text the words reimagine for all with no spaces, it's right here on the screen, to 443. Uh, 321. If you text those words to that text address, 44321, you'll get information texted back to you. You'll be able to make that donation. We've got on the screen up here, as we have seen some of the donations coming in, I already thanked Edward and Jill, Jose Forquet, a $2,000 donor. So, Jose, thank you so much for that. Gloria Marvin, thank you for your contribution tonight. And Evan Whittle has come in at $500. We are over $9,000 in donations so far, but I will tell you, we've got some work to do to get to our goal. There's going to be times later on in the program where we start showing more and more specifics about what each one of our team captains is really championing the cause of. So I will tell you, we're at more than $11,000 now. We'll continue to thank these donors as the donations come in throughout the program. So thank you again to Edward and Jill and Jose and Gloria and Evan for helping us start off to get above $11,000. You can give any time throughout the program, but now we're gonna move on. And by move on, I mean take you back to the theater, take you back to American stage, take you back to where so many of you have loved to sit and watch the powerful storytelling that we continue to talk about here where so many of you have gone to feel that connection between live theater and, of course, American stage and people in your community. But we're going to check in back at the theater with our director of education outreach, Tiffany Ford, and Patrick Jackson, who is captain of Team Innovation. He is the adult education associate. Hey, Tiff and Patrick. Hello, Jason. We are back through the magic of theater and film. Patrick's here with me. Hey. <laughs> For generations, young people have experienced theater for the first time in their lives with American stage. We ignite a thirst for learning about new people, places, and ideas on stage, in the classroom, and now virtually from the safety of home. For decades, young people in our community have collaborated with us to study the craft of creating theater, from performing to playwriting, from collaborating with their peers, and discovering their unique voices. That's right. We empower young people to be bolder, wiser, and more compassionate on stage. And in life. <laughs> and now, please enjoy a very special song uh, inspired by our family series and performed by one of Tampa Bay's most beloved artists, Colleen Cherry. Cherry. Do it. Wanna change the 
City Lockhart, the Community Engagement Associate, and the co-playwright and director of our 2020 Digital School Tour and Family Series production, which we are filming here today, made possible by heightened safety procedures and your support. Welcome to Fairy Tales Reimagined, Stories for a New World. Hi. I'm Nicholas Hoop. I play Matteo, an eight-year-old boy who learns to explore his dreams and imagination. I'm Alexa Perez, and I play Isabella, a ten-year-old girl struggling to fit in at a new school who learns to listen to her inner voice. I'm Stephen Lima. I play Abuelo, a grandfather learning to reimagine the past in order to inspire future generations and himself along the way. American Stage believes that young people deserve access to a quality arts experience. Theater for Young Audiences allows the performing arts to be accessible across our community for children of all backgrounds and abilities. Reimagine Re access and inclusion. Thank you so much, Sadie. And uh, I'm still, um, Ch Colleen Cherry, you just have one of the most stunning voices, not just in our community, but that I've ever heard. Thank you for giving us the gift of your voice and your talent. And audiences need to see more of artists like Colleen. Um, and uh, right now it's virtually, and eventually it will be back on our live stages. I have to tell a very, very quick story. You were just see meeting our fairy tales cast. And as Sadie mentioned, we're doing very, um, going through a lot of health and safety precautions to make sure that we can do a safe filming so that we can bring storytelling um, with professional artists to our kids in their classrooms at this time when we're not able to send the, uh, our actors into the classroom like we typically do. Um, and so it's our way of making sure that we're uh, supporting our schools and, and keeping the kids connected to performance. And uh, when we walked into the theater the first day of Fairy Tales performance, we were all social distancing and, and, and all, the, all the safety precautions in place. But even with that, as soon as we walked into that space, there was that feeling and that reminder of this being a place where really special things happen. And I felt myself get really emotional. I was surprised um, how emotional I felt just being back in that building again. We can't wait to come back together. And one of the ways that we're going to ensure that we can and that we will, American Stage has been doing this for 43 years. We got a lot more decades, a lot of more years of, of storytelling to do. And so right now, what we do is we make sure that we we keep that connection with our community. We keep our own skills and our ability to make a difference with storytelling strong. And you saw a little bit about how we're gonna do that with our digital series in the fall. And I wanna introduce you to one of the artists who we've commissioned to create a piece specifically for American Stage, virtual stage, particularly for this moment of time for us to come together in conversation and in live storytelling. Hi, I'm Rachel Lynette, and I wrote Letters to Kamala, the first digital production this season with American Stage. The play is about three historical politicians who've shown up to give words of wisdom to the current candidate for vice president. It's a story about sisterhood and struggle, where women share their triumphs, tribulations, and hopes for the nation. I'm excited because I hope that this play will inspire conversations about change, loss, and what could be best help us move forward together, united as a nation. Tonight we present you a moment from the play featuring Charlene Mitchell, a prominent agitator during the civil rights era played by Renata Eastlip. Her powerful story is one of sacrifice, of strength, and of perseverance. I hope you will watch the world premiere on October 23rd, and please consider giving to American Stage and supporting live theater. Thank you. I've always wondered why we praise the first so much. I know it's not why you called me here, but it's on my mind, and it's not the first person to try, it's the first person to be successful as if success can be achieved without failure first. We really like people who make it, but sure don't like to talk about the people's shoulders they stepped on to get there. And I don't mean stepping on their shoulders like it's bad. Everyone needs help to be lifted up. American individualism may not like that truth, but we couldn't have won World War II without Mexico. That's just the facts. Despite disagreeing with almost everything you believe in, you are impressive. The first South Asian American woman to serve in the United States Senate. Hmm. Someday a young girl will call on you for guidance. You've earned your place amongst the ancestors. Congratulations. And now, VP, good on you. 
want to know what I'm curious about? You ran for president. President. Now, I can't read your mind. No ancestors can. But I have to ask, did you really want to win? Or did you just want enough national attention so that when you became VP, it would make sense? And if you wanted to be president, why VP? <laughs> to Biden? Was that you settling or is it a power move? Sometimes from a distance, both can look the same. What was the writing on the wall moment for you? Hmm? Did you realize you had burned too bright and needed to be dimmed down? Did you learn from Hillary? What's the game plan here? Hmm? President of Senate is good enough? Now, I'm not here to judge you. Lord knows you have plans I do not understand yet. But you did call me here. You had to know I'd ask. Hi, I'm Dr. Kanika Tomlin, Deputy Mayor and City Administrator of the beautiful city of St. Petersburg. This season, I'm reimagining opportunity. Please consider giving to American Stage to help them continue to provide opportunity, access, and exposure for so many of our young people to the beautiful world of the arts. Reimagine opportunity. Thank you so much, Dr. Tomlin. And as you can see from that brief piece from Letters to Kamala and the introduction to our playwright and the beautiful Renata Eastlick, um, the stories we tell at American Stage are always conversation starters. We're not here to dictate. Um, so I, I like to let people know when they hear Letters to Kamala, give it a chance and come and check it out because it's definitely going to be an opportunity for us to have some great conversations as a community, to learn some things along the way, but also to just to experience the performances of some terrific actresses. And I'm really grateful that Dr. Tomlin will be joining us in conversation the opening weekend of Letters to Kamala. We'll be having a community conversation to talk about women in leadership and women of color in politics. So uniting storytelling with what's going on right here in our community and around the world. That's what we do and we're gonna do it digitally for a few months. We've also, we're also gonna bring you Kate starring Jana Stevens as the um, incomparable Catherine Hepburn and a new play, Another Commission, Nosotros La Gente. And then for the families, um, please join us for It's a Wonderful Life um, at the holiday time. But we are planning, too, to return back to our stage and bringing everybody safely together with, uh, when we get into 2021. And here to tell you a little bit more about that is one of American Stage's favorite artists. Hello, I'm L. Peter Callender. In 2021, American Stage will present its hybrid theater series with productions planned for live on-site performances on our main stage with live streaming performances of these productions through our virtual stage. Now, when it's safe for us to return to on-site performances, American Stage will be ready. And I will be ready when I take to the stage to portray an American legend in Terry Teachout's Satchmo at the Waldorf. Now, some called him Pops. Some called him Mr. Jazz. But his favorite fans called him Satchmo. In this three-character, one-man play, you'll meet Louis Armstrong, the greatest of all jazz trumpeters, as well as Joe Glazer, Louis' manager, and the one and only Miles Davis. Now, the show is set in 1971 in a dressing room backstage at the Empire Room of New York's Waldorf Astoria, where Armstrong performed in public for the last time, four months before his death. We are looking forward to inviting audiences back to the theater for this beautiful and entertaining tribute to a true musical genius. For tonight, join me in welcoming two exceptional local musicians, Dwayne White on trumpet and Stretch Bruin on piano, playing one of Satchmo's most beloved songs. <laughs>
I'm Janice Stevens, and I've had the great pleasure of working at American Stage over the past few seasons, uh, playing roles in such plays as 4,000 Miles, uh, Marjorie Prime, and Long Day's Journey Into Night. I also directed Sex with Strangers. I am reimagining equity for this season. Not only equity in the theater, but equity for all people in America and equity for all people on this planet. I hope that you can give generously to American Stage. Hi, I'm Molly Posnick, and you saw me last season in Fun Home at American Stage. This season, I'm reimagining Connection, because now more than ever, it is so important that we keep talking and learning and creating art together, even if we have to do it a little bit differently. The arts are what heal us, so please consider giving to American Stage to help us continue to tell powerful stories. Hello, my name is Renee Baker, American Stage trustee and Head of Advisor Inclusion Networks at Raymond James. Raymond James has a proud history of support for American Stage as its annual season Main Stage sponsor. This season at Raymond James, we are reimagining connection. We are all trying to figure out how to adjust in our new normal. And this year, resilience is our superpower. Please consider giving to American Stage and helping us to continue to tell powerful stories. Renee, Molly, and Janice, thank you so much for those messages teeing up this next part of the program. We call this part of the program the Bid from the Heart. And in the Bid from the Heart, that's exactly what we're going to ask you to do. We don't have auction items to offer you. We don't have certain games that we might play. We're going to ask you from the get to give from the bottom of your heart directly to our mission. But it's not for me to tell you about our mission. We're about to introduce someone who can tell you about it. She's the board chair. But before we do that, I want to thank some of the people who have given to this point already. Derek Phipps gave just a moment ago. Will Huff gave $1,000 to American Stage. Cornelius Frankel donated $518 to American Stage. Ellie Feinhout is a $26 donor. Carrie Minnelli more than $1,000. Gavin Stark was in at more than $1,000. Folks, understand that these people understand the mission, understand the reason why we're giving here tonight. We've talked about the different pillars that we're asking you to donate to and for, the innovation, the inspiration, the inclusion, and the sustainability. We're gonna talk much more about those in just a moment, but before I ask you to give to any of those specific places, we're gonna ask to hear from our board chair, Robin Rusignolio. Robin is joining us live right now. So Robin, how are you enjoying the show so far and help us get ready to do a little bit of fundraising. Thank you so much, Jason. Um, and good evening, everyone. It is so exciting to be together celebrating Reimagine American Stages 2020-2021 season. Um, so the last year has been incredibly challenging for individuals and for companies around the world. American Stage is no exception. Season ground to a halt. The um, critical fundraiser was canceled almost at the last minute. And the theater had to pivot from live performances to a virtual format. But thanks uh, to the support of our community and to the ingenuity of leadership and staff. Um, the organization is persevering and remains strong. And here we are together celebrating tonight. So the American Stage Board of Trustees is committed to the sustainability and to the longevity of the organization. We are so excited about the season ahead and we are so optimistic uh, for our future. But we can't do this alone. We need your help. So as we segue into the fundraising mission part of our evening, we are asking for your generous support, for your support for our 2020-2021 season and for American Stage's future. So thank you. Back to you, Jason. Thank you so much, Robin, and thank you again to our board of trustees who've been so tremendous during this period of time. Um, a nonprofit board, 
this group of people volunteering their time to make a difference. And our board at American Stage is so committed to this organization. And thank you for your collective gifts um, coming together to really make a difference as a board, to, as a real sign of unity and belief in the future of American Stage. We're going to tell you a little bit about what the journey to arrive at this moment has been from the staff perspective. And as you're watching, I know there are people um, right here in the Tampa Bay community, but there are people all over the country. And there are other people from other theaters watching too, um, from all around the country. Um, we, we even have some people abroad watching tonight. And um, I ask you to just think about the, the real, the human factor in this and um, how much it, it, how important it is for all of us right now to find new ways to stay resilient, as Renee mentioned earlier, um, but really to take this opportunity to reimagine what it looks like um, to come together. Uh, and I, I do want to let you know as you're watching this story from our staff that one of the things that we've been thinking so much about Amer at American Stage is how do we become a place that truly is for everyone? How do we make the theater truly a place where all feel they have a place? One of the things that we're doing tonight as a movement in that direction of inclusivity is we're taking every single individual donation that comes in tonight, regardless of the amount, regardless of the amount, all of your gifts make a difference right now. Every single individual gift will count as an all access pass that will be donated, contributed to a member of our community. We want to make our work accessible to everyone. The theater is for everyone. So every single donation, every single individual donation that comes in tonight translates to an all access pass. So someone who otherwise may not be able to have access to our work, both virtually and eventually on stage later in the season, will have that opportunity to experience what powerful storytelling can do. So thank you so much. And, and I'm real proud to introduce um, the American Stage staff to tell a little bit of our story. When considering our season theme and what it means to reimagine, we thought not only about our season, we thought about the role of American Stage in our community. And we thought about how we would secure the future of American Stage on the road to recovery during this extraordinary time. We reflected on what inspired us to create our fall fundraiser back in 2017, back when American Stage celebrated 40 years of serving our community. And we remembered back then, how we paused and how we listened to our staff and supporters and asked, how do we honor 40 years? Four decades, so much creative history, over 3,000 artists employed, over 5,000 performances, reaching over a million community members. And we knew what we needed to do, bring our community together. That year's season theme was We the People. More than a season, it was a movement, inviting us all to seize the opportunity to engage and connect through the power of live theater. This year, we began looking ahead to fall 2020, American Stage's 43rd year, our fourth season celebration, and the opportunity to continue building on this movement. And in January 2020, the planning started. It would be our most inclusive season celebration yet, a true season launch. With our growing American Stage team, our new apprentices, our community of artists and supporters gathering together to celebrate the launch of a new season of Powerful Stories. Last week would have been that special celebration together at the Birchwood. And tonight, tonight would have been the opening night of the first production of the new season on our main stage. We were planning and we were dreaming. And then suddenly our dreams were halted. And instead of continuing our American Dreamscape season with the opening night of a very special world premiere and our plans for our 43rd season, our theater went dark save for a solitary ghost light. And now we woke up to a different reality and we paused again. And now we had to ask more difficult questions. When would we be able to turn the lights back on on our stage? When would we be able to come together again to do our work, to serve as a community gathering place for the exchange of stories, conversations, empathy, and connection? But the answers didn't come because the planet's pandemic created global uncertainty and the realities of our health landscape continued to require that we keep a safe distance. And we began asking ourselves, 
different questions this time. How can we come together to celebrate at a time when the health and well-being of our world is in jeopardy? When the very foundation of live theater has been decimated and theaters around the globe are in danger of closing for good? How can we ensure that American stage can safely bring us all back together in six months, or a year, or a season? And how do we ensure American stage is sustained so that we can bring our community together again for many seasons into the future to celebrate our 50th anniversary and beyond? And we weren't sure of the answers. So we did what American stage does best. We listened, we learned, we stayed connected, and then we reimagined. We followed our hearts as artists and educators to answer the most essential question, how do we serve our community now? We put our minds and hearts to work together as leaders, cautiously, carefully, and strategically in order to preserve our people, our resources, and our well-being as responsible stewards of a community treasure. And to sustain American Stage as a beloved cultural institution for the city of St. Pete, Tampa Bay, and as a world-class arts organization. To reimagine powerful stories boldly told with a dynamic new season. One that is more inclusive than ever, one that considers the health and well-being of our community, and one that helps to ensure that American Stage is here to celebrate five decades of powerful live storytelling and 50 years of elevating the quality of lives in our community for all with powerful professional live theater and quality arts education. Because when we come together and share a story representing a diversity of perspectives and experiences, we expand our world. Our differences cease to divide us. And we become united through our shared experience of what it is to be human. With your support, we can reimagine together, now and for years to come. Folks, I will tell you, to hear it from the staff, to hear it from many of the actors who are part of the program, to hear it from not only the folks who work in the office, to hear it from those folks who help put on the programs, help put on the educational programs, that's where you hear the difference we're making in this community. During that program, I will tell you, during those messages, we heard from you all out there in the form of donations. Paul Harris from DCE Productions, he made a contribution. L. Peter Callender, you heard from him earlier in the program, he made a contribution. Renee Ma Baker made a $1,036 contribution. Those are the types of things that are going to help American Stage continue to thrive. Right now, our total is at more than $16,000. During this part of the program, the bid from the heart, I will tell you that American Stage needs you to be connected and needs us to be connected to you. American Stage can't continue to thrive in this community without people like you who are watching programs just like this to help make sure that the critical funds are reached to help us continue to be successful in this community. Now, we've talked about these different pillars throughout the program, innovation, inspiration, inclusion, and sustainability. If you want to donate to any of those particular pillars, all you have to do is go to the American Stage website. That's AmericanStage.org. It's right there. We make it as easy as possible for you, right? If you want to donate to one of those four pillars, go to the website, scroll all the way to the bottom. You can pick what team you want to make your donation towards. It's going to be a competition. If you want to just donate to the overall good, you know where it is? It's right there. All you have to do is text reimagine for all to 44321. But we do want to give our different team captains an opportunity to campaign one more time. Because after their campaign, we're going to check in on their donations. And it's not only about how much money in total we've raised. As Stephanie mentioned earlier, it's also about the total number of contributions we get. So far, we're at 42 total donations in our program that make up that $16,069. That means that 42 different all-access season passes are going to be given to someone in our community who can't otherwise get into the fine arts, into the theater at American Stage. So 
We're going to give our captains a chance to plead their case one last time. We're going to start once again with team innovation. We're going to turn it back over to Patrick Jackson. Patrick, this is your last chance. Make your case. Thanks, Jason. Hey, everyone. Once again, this is the moment to support innovation here at American Stage. Remember, your donation will help to provide the resources to bring you our exciting, dynamic reimagined season, including new technologies for imaginative and high quality productions and our education programs like our improv program and our master classes for adults and personal protection equipment to keep our staff and our artists safe and our audiences just like you safe and healthy. So go team innovation. And you know what, right now I'm doubling down and I'm investing right here where I work and I'm going to hit right here, donate with Apple pay. And I'm going to scan right now and I'm donating myself to invest. So I hope you can invest on team innovation. Thanks, Jason. Patrick, you talk about putting your money where your mouth is. That's exactly what he's doing. He believes in the innovation part of this program. He wants you to donate to his cause. Robin Rusignolo, she has said, I will donate, and she has made a $1,000 donation. Now, as I mentioned, if you donate directly to the overall cause, it's going to show up in our total. But we will also, if you make a donation particularly to one of our pillars, we will see it show up on the screen here. So I see Patrick's donation came in at $50. Trevor Wells has just made a $250 donation. We have 45 total donations in our program so far here this evening. That's 45 all access passes. So regardless of what dollar amount you want to make a contribution, now's the time to put it in. Do you want to support innovation? Put it in. If you want to support inspiration, I'll ask you to put that donation in, but I'm also going to give you a chance to explain and to hear why inspiration is the important pillar to American stage. And to tell us a little bit more about that is our team captain of Team Inspiration. We're going to turn this one over to Hal and Willie. Hal and Willie, what you got for us? Well, thanks, Jason. Hi again, everybody. What a fabulous night. It, it really is. Um, as part of Team Inspiration, actually, as its captains, we are going to put our money where our mouth is and get the ball rolling. We will contribute $5,000. Wait a minute. It's American stage. We can do better. 6000 Oh, come on. 7500 Yes! I feel like I'm bidding against myself, but 7500 tonight to support American stage, staff and artists who are helping us all reimagine together. And we'd like to challenge all of you out there, whatever amount you can do to match our gift in the next four minutes by making your contribution to Team Inspiration. Let's go. Reimagine together. Go Team Inspiration. All right, folks, Hal and Willie inspiring others with a $7,500 donation. I think at least for those of us in the studio, can we give that a round of Woo! applause? got like a thousand people in our studio, but regardless, how about that? A $7,500 donation for Team Inspiration. We're going to watch the counter, the tally on our screen. We have 48 total donors, which means that 48 total all access passes have been given out. How about this? We have a new donation that has just come in on our screen. Beth Houghton has just given $5,000. So how about that? A big round of applause for Beth Houghton. Your contribution to American stage. Folks, we are up to more than $22,000 total. I will tell you that for those of you who want to give specifically to Hal and Willie, if you want to do that to their team, and let me rephrase that, not specifically to Hal and Willie, but if you want to give to the team that they captain, Team Inspiration, you go to AmericanStage.org, scroll all the way to the bottom, and the different teams will be listed there, and you can make your donation to impact that team, Team Inspiration. We'll have a contest. We'll announce who our winner is, and the winner simply means that that pillar raised the most funds for American Stage. So we will continue to watch this total as it continues to grow there. I will remind everyone, and actually as I say this part, if we can put the total up on the screen, that one right there, because what I want to encourage you all to do, and I want you to know that for those of you who go to many American Stages events throughout the year, for those of you who have been to gala in the park, for those of you who have been to the season opening celebration, this virtual program in essence from a fundraising perspective, from an event fundraising perspective, is taking the place of both of those events. So if you are someone who donates at both of those events or one of those events, now's the time to give to help support American Stage because both of those events were canceled and we're coming to you virtually here this evening. But it's now time to bring in our third captain, our third team captain. Now, if there was a team energy, 
I think she would be the captain of that one too. <laughs> but tonight we have named her as the captain of Team Inclusion. It is time for the campaign speech of none other than the captain of Team Inclusion, Sadie Lockhart. Sadie, what do you got? Hello everyone again. It's so wonderful to share this space with you all tonight. Thank you so much for all your donations. It is means it means so much and it's such a truly magical night. I want to give a special shout out to our Westminster campuses who are tuning in tonight and to all of you. We are so grateful for this medium to share this time with you. And now this is the moment to help ensure that we are able to reach even more audiences and students and artists by eliminating barriers to access. Through technology support, scholarships, reduced ticket pricing and more, your donation will help provide the resources to make this year a more inclusive season than ever before. And a little friendly competition. Patrick, I'm also putting my money where my mouth is. I'm gonna go on the app also and donate right here via credit card coming in real soon. And I hope that you all will too. Um, we truly are so passionate about making this theater even more inclusive and we thank you in advance for your support. So go team inclusion. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> I love it, Sadie. Thank you so much, folks. You see her page up there on the screen right here and you will see that her donation number is currently at $518. You can make that increase whether you want to donate specifically to team inclusion or to the overall good of the organization. As I look at the total donations that are coming in, I will tell you that I feel like people are being a little diplomatic, if you will, with their donations. And when you see people who have donated two and three and four times, like Robin did there, I know Elizabeth Brinklow, she donated earlier as well. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little donation going to multiple teams there, so don't be afraid of that. I will also remind you that as much as that dollar amount is obviously critical, the 23,354 is so important. The total number of donors is important to us as well. We believe that we can get to at least 100 different donations here this evening. And if we get to 100 donations, that means that 100 different all access passes are going to be given to someone in our community who couldn't otherwise have access to the fine arts, couldn't otherwise have access to American stage. So please, when you make that donation, when you hit the donate button, either by texting the word reimagine for all to 44321 or going to AmericanStage.org and scrolling all the way to the bottom and picking what team you want to donate, regardless of how you want to donate, understand that every donation is going to make a difference, specifically a direct impact. Now, we heard from the captain of Team Innovation. We heard from the captain of Team Inspiration. We heard from the captain of Team Inclusion, which leaves one more team who needs to ad address their constituents. This is Team Sustainability. We got another donation that just came in from Roderick McLaren. Thank you, Roderick, for that one. But it is time for me to introduce the captains of Team Sustainability. It is Tom and Susan. Hey, guys, how you doing? Doing great, how are you? Great, what you got for us? Well, let's just say this is an amazing night together and we are together reimagined. Thank you, American Stage. This is the moment when Team Sustainability wants to remind you that your support tonight is about investing in one of Tampa Bay's leading arts organizations to the benefit of artists, audience, students, and community members for a generation to come. And speaking of artists, we just had a knock on our door from two longtime theater artists, Paul and Roz Potenza, hey. who own Design One Jewelers in Countryside. <laughs> and they dropped off a check for $250 for team sustainability. Woo! And Susan and I are gonna match that, another 250 for mm -hmm. team sustain sustainability. Yeah, and let's keep American Stage's 43-year legacy going. Let's do this. Let's do 50 years, and then let's do another 50 years. You want us to get through the next seven and then do another 50 after that. I am ready for it, folks. Yeah. <laughs> if you're ready for it, I'm ready for it. But listen, let's get through this fundraiser first. We've got a lot of things on the horizon to look forward to. I will tell you that... We mentioned the $250 that Tom and Susan have given, the other $250 from the knock at their door that came during the program, so we appreciate that as well. I will tell you that our total, as we put that back up on the screen, it's currently showing $23,508. I will tell you that I also know that that doesn't include Hal and Willie's $7,500 donation, so we are above $30,000. I will also tell you that during Tom and Susan's campaign pitch, their plea there, if you will, we also got word that Dick and Sandy Averett, both members of our advisory board, they are making a $5,000 contribution. So we'll give a round of applause for that one too, right? <laughs> right? So that number that you see 
see on your screen is not only 35,000 plus, but it's also a minimum of 56 individual donors. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna watch this screen for just another few moments because now's the time if you haven't given already, whether it's a dollar amount that you've seen on the screen or whether it's $5 or whether it's $50,000, whatever that dollar amount is, now's the time to give it. I'm gonna give you the examples of exactly how to give one more time. As I thank Janice Stevens, we haven't had a chance to thank Janice for her contribution yet. But remember, there are two ways to make contributions here this evening. It's go to AmericanStage.org. And once you're on the website, scroll all the way to the bottom, pick out what team you wanna make a donation to. Or from your cell phone, put in 44321. That's the number you're gonna to text to, and you're gonna send it to Reimagine for All. So 44321 send to that number, reimagine for all. We wanna see the donations continue to come in. Mike Alford watching tonight, a $250 donor. Mike, always a huge supporter, no longer lives in town, but certainly thank you to Mike for supporting American Stage from afar. Anyone else that we can acknowledge and we can call out. Our donation numbers, as I mentioned, are above $35,000 now that include the two that we just called out. So we got another, Benjamin Ishmael is another $100 donor. Anyone else who wants to give before we move on to the next part of our program, understand that any time you can give, whether it's during this part of the program or as we continue to give great entertainment through the rest of the program, we need and want your donations to continue to thrive. So what I will do is I will ask for one more huge round of applause, not yet, and I say that to the audio guy with the canned applause, <laughs> but I'm gonna ask for Stephanie and myself to come back on the screen together, and I would like to give a round of applause for our donors at American Stage at $35,000. is awesome and also the 58 donors it's 56 plus the two we know That's 58 right. donors are going to do a lot in our community that means that there are going to be uh, more people who are going to have access to the work that we're doing all season long and we're going to continue this campaign through the rest of tonight and beyond and one of the things i really i want to point out it's just really striking me as i'm seeing some of these donation names come in a lot of these donations are coming from artists who are have been crushed by this this close down of our performing arts and by staff members many of whom have seen their hours reduced or have been furloughed they're coming they're coming in tonight and saying we're we're dealing we're living with less but we want to give because that's how much we value this and i i just want to just say that example of what theater does um, for, to people, um, that sense of really being a part of something greater than ourselves um, and giving, um, even when what we have to give is, um, is, is modest, um, really wanting to be a part. That's what theater does, and I think that that's what we all like, are, it's all what we're longing for right now. So much of that just sense of um, we're in this together and our differences really don't, in the end, make enough of a difference to do anything other than um, give us the opportunity to be enriched by the experiences that um, each of us bring to the table. So I just want to say a, a real sincere thank you to the artists and the staff for what you've done tonight and you're part of this. Um, one of the things that people always want to hear about as we're talking about when are we coming back and what's going to happen next is when is American Stage in the Park coming back? That was one of the biggest heartbreaks for us in 2020. And it's not just a heartbreak for American Stage, this is a community legacy event and we have so many tremendous community partners around American Stage in the Park and some of them are going to share with us a little bit tonight um, what their role is and how they feel about reimagining the season and I want to start off with American Stage trustee Jose Forquet. Thank you Stephanie. Good evening everybody. Again I am Jose Forquet, American Stage trustee and Merrill Lynch managing director and market executive for Tampa Bay. For the last 11 years Bank of America has been the title sponsor for American Stage in the Park, something we're very, very proud of. And while this year has been challenging to all of us, we look forward to the return of this community treasure in the spring of 2021. This season at Bank of America, we are reimagining connection as we have continued to deliver for our clients, communities, and employees during these unprecedented times by connecting with them in innovative ways. That's why we applaud American Stage for reimagining how audiences can connect to live theater in these challenging times. Thank you for supporting American Stage and live theater in this awesome community which we share. Enjoy the show. Personally for me, the partnership with American Stage uh, 
you know, goes all the way back to my childhood. I have fantastic memories of attending what used to be Shakespeare in the Park uh, as a child with my entire family. It's been a dream of mine uh, to do more with American Stage if and when I ever had the opportunity uh, and starting this brewery gave us that opportunity. American Stage helps to tell the story uh, of all sorts of people from all walks of life and we can help with that storytelling um, by connecting some of the beer we make and what the background is with that between the ingredients and the history of that style and bringing all these things together to, I hope, uh, uh, impress upon our community uh, something bigger than theater or beer. I've had a long relationship with American Stage that spans over three decades. I've seen how we've shared the passion and enthusiasm for advancing the quality of life here. We're proud to have them as partners and friends and share in the celebration what makes St. Pete great. It's the arts. Oh, it's hard to hear from Duncan. I, I miss that guy. Uh, we've got a great partnership, Duncan McClellan and I. So just wanna let everybody know, if you're like me, you know that we'll be on the road back uh, once that annual tradition that Tampa Bay loves, that annual tradition of American Stage in the Park returns. You know, this year was the first time in over 30 years that American Stage in the Park simply didn't happen. <laughs> so that's why we're super excited to bring everybody back out uh, as a community, under the stars, outdoors, to enjoy a night of music, dancing, laughing, and just community connection. So we will be doing that with Footloose in the Park out at Demon's Landing later this year uh, in the spring, 2021. And I've got a great treat for you. I've got the cast of Footloose, along with the famous American Stage in the Park band, ready to perform I Need a Hero from Footloose. One, two, three, four. <laughs> My name is Julia Rafino, and this year I have the privilege of performing in American Stages production of Mamma Mia, as well as Romeo and Juliet in their Shakespeare Light series. 
This year, I am reimagining hope for American stage because now more than ever, it is very important to hold on to hope during life's toughest challenges. So thank you for supporting and being a part of American Stage's family. Hello, I am Alicia Thomas, and I appeared in The Producers in two different virtual series with American Stage. This season, I am reimagining love because as we continue to shine light on racial inequality with black people, more specifically black women, I feel if we consciously start with love, we can thrive as a community, the theater community. Thank you for your support with American Stage and Live Theater. My name's Courtney Ann McLaren, and I was an American Stage apprentice, an educational touring performer, and an actor in Miss Bennett Christmas at Pemberley. This season, I'm reimagining joy because it's important to remember that no matter where you are, who you're with, or what the circumstances might be, you can always find moments of joy. Thank you. And please consider supporting American Stage so we can continue telling powerful stories. Thank you artists for all those messages and oh, how wonderful to hear that song from that music that we miss so much. I'm here to tell you tonight that American Stage has been reimagining how we bring you creative content all year long. And so this season, we are going to be partnering with theater companies across the country to bring you more diverse stories. And we're calling these partnerships our creative collaborators. And we are linking arms with them so that we can find new and innovative ways to bring you theater. Now, our audiences are not only gonna have access to our American stage performances, but our members are going to receive free let me say it again, free access to all of this content, all of this exciting and dynamic productions and events from our creative collaborators. And we are excited to announce tonight, we are going to be partnering with, can I get a drum roll please? <laughs> the Hippodrome Theater in Gainesville, Florida. And we're gonna be offering their performances of Proof of Love by Chisa Hutchinson next week. So members, check your inboxes soon for more information about how to see that. And then followed by an exciting and thought provoking digital production from the Riverside Theater Company in Iowa City, Iowa. And then the Aurora Theater Company in Berkeley, California will be bringing us an exciting new audio drama later this month. And there will be more to come. So more creative collaborators are gonna join us this season to help you connect with more artists across the country so that we can really get back to the heart of theater, which is connecting over compelling stories. So thank you for supporting American Stage tonight. I hope that you will give generously. Christine. Kristen, thank you so much. You know, you talk about reimagining how to be successful and how to continue de delivering those stories. Certainly that creative collaboration is so important. Now, I do want to get back to our tally screen one more time because we've had some donations come in during that amazing performance from Footloose, during Kristen's comments there. And many of those not only are part of our staff and some more actresses and actors within our community like Colleen Cherry and Susan Alexander, who along with Tom Block was our captain of team sustainability. Joy Rudnitsky, a huge supporter. Jim Sorensen, thank you so much for your donation as well. So all of those who come in, Folks, what I will tell you is we are just short of, if we tally up all the donations, listen, we've been getting some text messages here in the studio letting us know some donations that have come in. We are just less than $40,000 and we're just less than 100 total donations. So I would ask you, if you haven't given yet, help us get that number above 100. We're at 88, we need 12 more people at any dollar amount. Every donation, regardless of dollar amount, is an all access pass for someone in our community who wouldn't otherwise have access to American Stage or the fine arts in our community. But Stephanie, as I turn it back over to you to wrap things up here tonight, I will tell you that not only have we raised a tremendous amount of money for American Stage, but I think we've really shown people how we've been able to adapt and how we've been able to reimagine what the future will look like for American Stage. That's right, and, and, and reimagine what things will look like for our community, and I mean that as our larger community too, because as I said, I know people are watching from all over, and that's um, one of the reasons we're so excited about the creative collaborators. If you didn't catch that, um, we're this is really an opportunity to reimagine too how we function 
action together and re link arms across the country to bring our communities the work that our artists do. It's going to keep our artists working and keep our communities connected to all sorts of uh, diverse programming, and we're thrilled about that. And thank you so much, Jason. It's been, um, we got off to a, a, a little bit of a scary start, um, getting started late. Thank you for, for sticking with us and for hearing um, this story, not just about um, what it means to give, but what it means to, to come together, and frankly, what it means in this moment right now when there's so much pain and there's a lot to be worried about um, to remember that, frankly, together, we still do have one another. And that connection that we have with one another, we can, can, we can maintain it even when we're keeping our distance. We have to reimagine what that looks like right now. And then when we do come back together, we have to reimagine and take this opportunity to think about how can we do it better? Because I think we can. I agree, and Stephanie, I do want to tell you one more time that regardless of when you're watching this program, whether you're watching us live or if you're watching us on any of the replays, understand that at any point you can use any of the donation information that we've been giving you here this evening to donate to American Stage. And still, through October 16th, any time you make a donation, regardless of the amount, you are giving an all-access pass to someone in our community who wouldn't otherwise have it. So we encourage you, regardless of when you're watching, to please keep giving. Give often. Give lots. <laughs> And remember to keep reimagining along with us all season long. Thank you so much. Reimagine together. 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 Reimagine together.